What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we got another sneak peek at one of the multiplayer maps for Modern Warfare 2, and this is one of the maps that'll be featured in the beta. This is called Farm 18, and it looks to be quite a small map. And it's worth noting with this video as well, we're technically getting our very first look at Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer gameplay, where we actually see a character moving around and interacting with the environment in some way. And while we don't get to see a whole lot, and it is in this cropped vertical video, we still do get our first sneak peek at gameplay for multiplayer. And let's go through a few of the little things that I noticed. First up, looks like Thermite is returning from Modern Warfare 2019, and I don't believe they've really changed too much with the model either, although it does look like there's a bit more of a smoke effect when it hits the ground. Outside of that, it looks to be pretty much the same as Modern Warfare 2019. As for the map itself, like I said, it appears to be quite small, and it looks like in the center we've got this warehouse where all the really close quarters combat is going to be taking place, but you can access all the streets around this as well. It appears we can also get in some of the buildings on the outskirts of this map. And there is some verticality as well. There's definitely a second story area on at least one of these buildings. And it's got some openings that overlook the street. Another thing I really noticed about this map, as well as Grand Prix, is it looks like they've been toning down the doors a lot. Now, there definitely appear to be some doors around the map that you can interact with. But I also noticed so many openings that were just that. They're just openings on the map. Whereas in Modern Warfare 2019, they definitely would have just plopped another interactable door in there. Which to me was a little bit overkill in that game. I don't mind the odd door here or there. But I'm glad to see that it looks like they're not just plastered all over the map in every opening possible. Now on top of this, getting back to the little bit of gameplay that we saw, we actually see them fire the gun here. And I was very surprised to see just how much recoil this gun has. Now, of course, we don't know how this gun is kitted out. And I mean, if you did kit out your gun to be as inaccurate as possible in Modern Warfare 2019, you might see it kick around like crazy like this. But I've got to say, I was quite shocked to see just how much recoil this gun has in this short little clip here. And with that, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about this. Like I said, it was a pretty limited clip. It's not even full screen at this point. Maybe they'll drop a full screen version of it sometime soon. But when it comes to my general thoughts on this map, it looks like it's going to play fairly chaotically, especially with those really tight close quarters situations in the interiors. And I'm just looking forward to getting my hands on it to see how it actually plays. As far as the aesthetics of the game, it looks pretty much on par with what we saw in Modern Warfare 2019. Maybe a few little improvements here or there when it comes to like lighting or graphics or physics or something like that. But for the most part, I'd expect it to look quite similar to Modern Warfare 2019. And that's not a bad thing by any means. That game is gorgeous. And with that, this is where I want to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Based on this little clip that they shared with us today, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this Farm 18 map based on what we can see? And what are your thoughts on some of the little gameplay elements we saw? Like the fact that Thermite's returning, and it looks like guns may have a lot of recoil this time around. Now, just to wrap the video up, I'm going to play it with the full audio so you can actually hear what they're talking about and what they're saying as they go through the map. So if you guys enjoyed this one, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time. How we designed a new map for Modern Warfare 2. My name is Jeffrey Smith. I'm a director of multiplayer design. Farm 18 came out of the idea of we kind of like the shoot house facility map, so we decided to think of hidden training facilities. But it's also in an industrial cement factory. And the idea was, what if we put a shoot house type situation in the middle? If you really want to play that crazy game, you can go to the center and that action will find you. If you want to pull back and play a different way, it's still available to you. I'm Ashley Thundercliffe, and I'm a senior environment artist. So when the design has approved the layout of the map and we're happy with it, and we come in and we transform those blockhouses into full-fledged environments for the players to immerse themselves in. The other problem was balancing the foliage. If we go too dense with the foliage, we have people hide in the corners. If we don't go dense enough, we don't sell the narrative of the overgrowth. So it's all a perfect balance between all departments trying to find the perfect harmony to make sure that we've got a beautiful, realistic looking space, whilst also being fun for the players to enjoy.